All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be taking a daily look at none other than Internet Computer itself. You know, before we get started, just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys for showing support day in, day out. I love each and every one of you guys, and your support does not go unnoticed. If you enjoy these updates, you guys know what to do. Uh, smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, share the video, and, you know, that does go a long, long way. So, if we're looking at the majority of the market today, um, literally 20 minutes before we close out the daily candle, we're starting to see altcoins going back into the green. Uh, right now, as of recording this update, if you're looking at it, majority of the altcoins in the top 100 are back in the green. But as far as ICP is concerned, it's one of the very few coins that is down a little bit, about 1.7% right now. So let's take a look at what's happening with ICP. So if we're looking at ICP's price right now, currently sitting at $12.30. Uh, we're down about 2.9% over the past 24 hours in USD and also 3% in BTC comparative over the past 24 hours. Market cap on the other hand is currently sitting above $5.6 billion with the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 142.7 million. So not bad, um, you know, if you're looking at the overall, um, you know, price uh, for ICP. And right now, CoinGecko uh, price is not updated. You know, the price of internet computer is already above the $12.30 as of recording this update, which we will get into right now. But before we do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So now let's start off by taking a look at Bitcoin dominance, because this is something I want you guys to be focusing on. So if you're looking at BTC dominance, it's pulling down. And why is this so important to note? You know, Bitcoin dominance pulling down is causing you know, majority of the altcoins to go back into the green because Bitcoin hasn't seen too much volatility. So in that case, you know, we are seeing BTC dominance pulling down and that is really impacting altcoins in a positive way right now. As far as BTC's price is concerned, you know, at this point, guys, I'm sure you guys know the key level that I continuously take a look at for Bitcoin and why it's so important which is the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. I might sound like a broken record at this point regarding the Bitcoin key resistance level at 38.2, but I'm sure people are starting to realize, you know, the importance of this key resistance is way bigger than a lot of people anticipate. So if you're looking at this, you know, we're seeing significant amount of rejections. Even earlier today, we did see a wick all the way up to $43,500. But again, what did we not do? We were unable to retest above that resistance level. So, you know, it's still having a tough time breaking back, uh, you know, above that resistance, but the target remains the same. You know, Bitcoin needs to push back into the 38.2 and then we could even start having some conversations whether or not we will see a new yearly high uh, for BTC. Until then, I think we cannot be having that conversation as of now. Uh, so if we're looking at ICP, though, um, this is the wrong chart. We need to bring the ICP there we go let me see if i can give this a refresh live just bear with me icp <clears throat> there we go all right so what we're looking at with icp is you know it's holding really really strong as i've said one of the best looking charts by far in my opinion um and you know if you're a technical um an uh, analyst or um, analysis you do all of that good stuff you know how good this chart's looking right now because if you're looking at it from the wick that it saw just on the 23rd, which was at $9.71. This is where you see the significance. This is where you see the momentum. Let's just look at it again. And I'll give you guys a continuous reminder. Anyone that accumulated ICP around this $9.73 mark, you are up 27.47%. So almost a 30% gain in a matter of a week. And why is this happening? Because ICP has a lot of momentum, a lot of eyes are on it, a lot of people are excited about its future. And hence, you know, we are seeing its overall native token, um, you know, performing really, really strong. But you're seeing the similar thing that, you know, BTC right now is seeing with the resistance, same exact thing playing out with ICP. You cannot stress this enough. You know, if you're looking at 
the resistance $13.66 you know if you are an ICP holder and you want to see prices uh, you know at a higher level for internet computer you want to be focusing exactly at this $13.66 resistance your eyes should be glued on this level because you know this resistance pretty much guys since we broke below it on the 5th of January literally a month ago we haven't seen the price closing above it so it marks uh, you know one month since we have seen the price actually closing above this resistance so continuously remind yourself that this is the key resistance level that you know is extremely important and decisive because if we're able to close um, you know the daily candle above that we could be pushing back up to that extreme extreme um you know exciting level at sixteen dollars and ten cents so you know if you want to um you know put this move into perspective again you know that's a move of about ten percent from the current price levels um not a significant move guys that is not a significant move you know we could see this happening in a snap of a finger if bitcoin tries to push back into the 61.8 fibonacci i'm sorry the 38 point fibonacci retracement level you know icp could move up a very very fast but you know we just don't want a quick wick you know we've seen several wicks over the past you know weeks uh, you can see this for yourself several wicks up and down but you this is not what you need to see you need to see something like this play out and actually uh, turn that resistance into support and then make its way back up and push out of that $16 mark and this is where you know boom 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 will happen so you know that's how I'm taking a look at ICP um, overall things are looking quite interesting in terms of new users uh, flowing into uh, ICP you know of course that is um, you know increasing day by day and again you know should not be a surprise because more and more people are researching as to what internet computer does uh, what it's trying to solve and um, you know the more you research about it the more you get excited and you know I've been quite uh, clear about this you know internet computer is one of the ones that I completely slept on throughout the bear market of course I knew what it was but I completely slept uh, on it but you know it did great amounts of numbers and I think you know the potential is definitely high because the hype factor definitely is there you know that is a check uh, you know that we need to keep in mind as well as you know what it's trying to do and layer one of course you know it checks all these boxes uh, that it needs to be doing but again only time is going to tell at the end of the day but i want to hear from you guys what you guys think uh, where do you see icp trading at in the next week and um, what are you doing right now are you accumulating icp are you um, just um, holding it? What exactly is your strategy? And where do you personally you know, feel comfortable locking in profits for internet computer? And also one thing I want you guys to um, you know let me know is if you want to see a significant price prediction where I can talk numbers, uh, you know, if you want to see that, smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below so I know that you guys want to see it and I will bring that update for you guys. But that is it for today's update. Um, like I said, let me know down below what you guys think. But other than that, it's been Crypto ZX and peace out.